Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Balan Wonderworld. Last time we left off we had collected all of the rainbow statues from chapter 5 as well as gotten the hidden costume there. And I learned I can actually head to chapter 4 as well to get one of the costumes I need in order to complete chapter 3 as well. <laughs> so we're gonna head straight into chapter 4 this time. And the Tim seem to be having a blast. That counter is going nuts. Oop, wrong thing. I want this way. In we go. Okay, so with chapter four. Ooh, that's right, I need to go costume collecting. I'm gonna have soaring sheep because being puffed up is a good defense mechanism, and we p will probably need it for this chapter's act. Um. Uh, I'll take double jump with me, it's a good go to. And I'll take tornado wolf for now. You do a lot of costume hopping in the third acts, which I think makes good use for them. And it kind of makes me appreciate that there are throwaway costumes in this game, especially when you can get blindsided by Nagati so often. Okay. So, let's start by looking around and see what we've got. Something over there. I can see a statue from here. There's a switch over there. Balloons. Ah, okay. That's interesting. Well, let's head straight ahead first and just see what we can do. Thing. Hey. Going up above. Doo -doo -doo. Never hurts to look around. Nothing I can see from here. Okay. Looks like I'm gonna need the momentum from this fan. And off we go. Why not? <laughs> Grab some while I'm here. And just figure out what I can do. Statue up there. Huh. I wonder how I get up there. That's way too far of a distance normally. Well, let's just keep exploring. I see the heart tree on the nose of the flying whale again. Is it going to be acrobat here? Hopefully I didn't get myself stuck. I need something else here. Not much I can do there. That's a switch. Well, there's that heart tree. Huh. Well, I think I got myself hooped right off the bat, because I can't really go anywhere else without the necessary costumes. I might just have to go get the heart tree and start over. But it looks like I got that there. Oh, no. Never hurts to try, and if I do fall off, at least I uh, end back at the checkpoint. Alright, let's see here. So there's the heart tree there. Let's head up and see. And just for insurance sake, set to myself a double jump. Does it move? It won't move. So yeah, I can't really do anything. Well, let's just make a quick way back for myself then. Down I go! It's looking like my usual go-to is not going to work here, and the acrobat I know is a little finicky, so I am going to actually fall back on Balan for this one. So 
So what I'm gonna do is grab that. I'll keep Tornado Wolf and I will grab Acrobat just in case. Just because I don't fully trust myself. Get this first. We've also got a costume to find as well, so. Don't know what that did. But it did something. Oh, it did that. Okay. Good to know. I see what it wants me to do. I just I don't trust myself to do it. So we're just going to grab it this way. May as well have a glide on standby. Oh! More moving obstacles. Yeah, no, I don't want to chance that. Oh boy, those are not some nice Nagati. And if I have to get rid of them, it means I need another type of costume. I know what to get, but I'm gonna ignore them for now. What's with this? Just broke. Oh, it's the, the breeze, I see. Yeah, let's just abuse Balan, why not? Oh, there's the costume. Now, where's the key? Keys are usually close by. I think in this situation, the key's on the other side of the map. Better those Nagati have it. Well, let's keep it in mind, because this is going to be a very important costume. Guess what I just lost? Great. Good thing I have the rainbow drops to get it again. Okay. What am I gonna do here now? I am gonna have to get the woolly again. I'm gonna have to heavily rely on the acrobat now. Okay, well, let's grab that costume then. Okay. Well, this is gonna be fun. Let's see. First, I need a key to get the costume. Let's play by ear. Worst case scenario, I just go get the belong costume again. Can't do anything without the costume layer. Oh, leap of faith, I guess. I'm not liking this. Why didn't I clip the wind? Dang it. I remember why I don't like this chapter. Chapter's act, I should say. distance I can take now. How high up does this go? Not high enough. Well, either way. Experiment, I guess. Because I'm curious of something.
distance. If I can make that distance, I don't have to worry about this part. Which I can make it. Yay! Not the part I'm worried about. I'll wait. I just don't trust myself. That's nerve wracking. <laughs> well, thank you, Tim. Okay. So I shouldn't need this costume now. Ah, I see, I went backwards. Okay, well. Having something that f descends a, a float is always helpful. much here, so just watch shadows. Grab what I can. Here we go. Oh, I see. Are you gonna get closer, or are you just gonna float over a pit? You're just gonna float over a pit on me, aren't you? In that case, the Tims can take care of you while I attempt to get a statue. And promptly fall into a pit! Yep, I'm falling into a pit. Can you see why the belong costume is broken now? Oh boy. These ones. That's fast, holy. I didn't expect you to go on that. I'm just gonna go on to an edge. Okay, I've got some costume grinding to do now. So, I'm guessing the key is gonna be in a hidden pathway. I might just say screw it and grab a key mouse instead. There's always a key to a costume. Always. I've never seen an instance where there wasn't one. Except for when they introduced the key mouse. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna grab the heart tree go get a few more costumes, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I kind of said screw it to grinding and just went and got the belong costume again. I know what I need to get certain things, and I'm taking the key mouse with me. So we've only got two statues left. Um, like to say... There is an entryway into a room somewhere, so let's head there first here, where there is a checkpoint in here, good to know. 
Let's see. Looks like I can head up high up. Let's do that first. See what I can do here. It looks like it wants us over here for some reason. Not seeing a real reason as to why. Oh goody, I got it. Okay, well. Only one over there. It looks like I have something that's in lieu of a rush. Well, let's take out what I can see. Opens the gate. That's good. <coughs> there might be something in here, though. I have to look. Camera's jittering a bit. There you are. Up on the plane. Thank you. So that just leaves us with one more. And the costume we get. Okay. Well, out we go. I to know where I am. Okay. This is where that leads. Okay. Now, I remember having some Spike Nagati I couldn't really hit. Which was over here. Is this where the key is down below? Yeah, it is. Okay. Good to know. So that means those Spike Nagati are probably holding the statue. So let's switch over to Paladin Puncher. Where did they form again? Over there. Oh, where did those Nagati spawn again? Was it here? Yeah, it is. Okay. So you can't really hit these guys normally. Okay. Normally it means a statue spawns, and you found a key! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Thank you, game, for rubbing it in my face. Alright, I'm gonna hold on to Paladin Puncher, because it's an attack, so Key Mouse, you're gone. For the Gear King! There are actually larger gears in these chapters that the Gear Prince cannot use, so the Gear King is definitely necessary for it. And I'm gonna sneeze and I can feel it. <coughs> so I might end up grinding a bit of the... Oh, that's just cruel. For the, the Gear King costume. Anyways, the one we couldn't get because I was dumb. There we go. That's all the statues in Chapter 4, Act 3. And I've got some rainbow drop grinding to do again. Not hard, though. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I will meet you guys back at the aisle because I am going to grind a few more costumes. Well, uh, I'd say that act could have gone better, but at least we got all the statues from it. And the Tims are having a blast by the looks of it. Not too far off from fully repairing the clock happiness! That'll be nice. But, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna do some costume grinding off-screen and get some more rainbow drops just to have a backup in case I lose the blonde costume again, because we know it's gonna happen. So I'm going to stop here. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Blonde Wonder World. This is Autumn Child saying I'll see you all next time.